Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here today, welcome. My name is Dominique and I do a lot of videos on grocery hauls, organization, mum life in general. Today's video will be a lot different to all those sort of videos. I've never done one of these videos before. This is of our bedroom. This is our bedroom renovation video that we've been, you know, over the holidays, we've been really working hard to sort of get this bedroom done. There's still touch ups and things like that that has to be done and all that like I guess that's what happens with renovations. You end up moving into the room and there's still extra things that need to be done. Sometimes you don't even get around to them, but we are trying to get around to them. There's only a few little things that need touching up here and there. But I just thought I'd show you today what the bedroom looks like. Um, I have taken a few clips of what it used to look like, but it was really, really crazy over the holidays. And I just, just pretty much just took a few videos, like as my husband was sort of working on it. So I'll show you how it used to look. It's it's definitely looking a lot better and a lot cleaner. I think the, the paint and the new flooring and all that sort of thing really, really makes a difference in a room. And we did spend a fair bit of money just doing that. So we just wanted to keep it simple. There's nothing glamorous about it or anything like that. I have sort of made it um, more neutral colors because that's how I want the bedroom to be. But I was gonna do like a feature wall, but we didn't end up doing it. So maybe I might do that down the track. I just have to think about that a little bit more. Yeah, so I just thought I'd show you today. There is a few items that I've bought from Kmart, including my dress here. Um, this, you would have seen in one of my last hauls. I bought this dress and a few others. I will link that video below. If you're interested in looking at the dresses and things like that. But today's video is just um, some items I bought for, from Kmart that I put around the room to, um, yeah, just to, just to sort of decorate the room. I've used a lot of Kmart items. I have bought a quilt from Pillow Talk. The sheets are from Kmart. I'll go through and tell you which things, things are from Kmart. And it was such a good price as well. So let's have a look at the bedroom. I'll show you what it looks like. And I'll show you what it looked like before. It was a bit of a mess. We did have carpet and things like that before. The cupboards have been redone. I was going to do, we were going to do a walk-in, but my husband's just sort of left it the way it is. And we've just, he's just sort of, um, he sort of gutted it all out. And then he just put cupboards in there just simple cupboards I don't want too many clothes that's what I'm trying to I'm trying my hardest to stop buying so many clothes the wardrobe used to be a lot bigger than what it is now but I just like it like it is at the moment because I just find that I don't have I don't have to store too many clothes in there and that's what I just don't want simple so I can just reach for something grab it and put it on I really do hope you enjoy today's bedroom renovation video I'll show you what it used to look like and then I'll show you what it looks like now and you might give you some ideas on some products or something like that So here is our main wardrobe for our bedroom. I haven't shown you what it looked like before the doors got taken off because my husband took them off before I could film it. But yeah, there was three large doors on here as well. We have got a huge top shelf, as you can see up the top there, that's wonky and needs pulling down. We've got these shelves at the side here, which aren't that great because they're just too wide, not wide, but they're just too deep. They're way too deep to put clothes in. Everything gets lost in there. It's just not functional, the whole wardrobe. So as you can see, that beam isn't quite central because that's where the door shuts on there. And I was using part of that wardrobe over that side for my clothes. And I was using part of the other one. And it was just a bit of a mess. My husband's clothes and mine were getting mixed up. It just not, was not working. And it wasn't, it wasn't like... I don't know, we just ended up having too much clutter in here. I guess because of these shelves, we just started piling things in there. We ended up trying to like do a charging area in there, which we did use for a little bit, but it's just a bit of a mess and it's old and just needs to be redone. And I found with that huge shelf up the top there, I was just stacking anything I could find around the house, like photo albums, everything was going up there and I didn't even know what was up there anyway. So I really don't really need that much storage up the top. So we got these from Bunnings. These are flexi storage built-in wardrobe. They're four drawer, three shelf units. Um, we didn't get the other side, which is just like all cubes down one side there. We just wanted the drawers and also the cubes up the top, the three cubes. We did buy two of them. So my husband's got one and I've got one. And this just makes it so much easier because we did have a huge set of drawers taking up most of our bedroom prior to it. And now it's all contained in, in the wardrobe. So here my husband has started taking down these side shelves. Um, they work really, really frustrating, like I said. Like we've got PowerPoints in there, which, you know, I was using for hair dryers and also charging docks and things. And there's also an aerial plug underneath. 
I think all along this wardrobe would have been perfect without those shelving units either side. So you could just have the rack with all the clothes going across it. But we left this room for the end to do because we had so many other rooms and things to do around the house since we've bought the house. So my husband's now just taking out all the shelving here. Um, it is quite old. And we've got this old like industrial carpet, I guess you'd call it. I call it industrial carpet because it's so hard wearing, but it's time it goes. It is like a salmon sort of a color, but I felt so good when this was taken out because like it'd been rented for years, the house and, you know, the carpet just collects so much germs. And, and we do live really close to the ocean too. So it's always full of sand, the carpet. We've got kids, we've got dogs. It's just so much easier for our family not to have carpet in our house and especially in a really hot climate like Queensland. So here is what the cupboard looks like now. My husband is pulling down the shelf and we did have to hire a huge bud skip just to get rid of all the old materials from this bedroom. We took the carpet out today, which has probably been in here since the house was built. It was so old, the carpet. Um, we're getting a replacement fan next week. We're having an electrician come out and change that because none of this works here. So that has to be fixed. And we've also got a light switch here that doesn't work either. So that we've got to have we've got the electrician fixing that for us. And this is going to be the wardrobe. And we're hoping to just try and make this more functional than what it was. Um, so like I said the other day, we've got well, so we've got these wardrobes here like these um drawer sets that we're going to put in just to um try and utilize the space a lot more instead of buying chest of drawers i want to try and just put everything that's like like all our clothes just in here and we do have doors and things as well to put on so we've got all that out in the shed we've got a decent sized room which goes through to our main bathroom not the toilet just the main bathroom. So hopefully um, painting's nearly done, the roof's all been done, and I think my husband's gonna be doing the walls tonight. We're gonna be putting in those, the floors at some stage as well, but yeah, it's a big room and it's a big job. So basically that's where it's at at the moment. Hopefully, um, yeah, it's going to look really good once it's done because it's just been one of these rooms. This is the sort of the last room of the house that we sort of left. All the other bedrooms have been done. Derek was up the following night painting all night, so all the paint has been done except for touch-ups here and there, which will have to be done later on. But he's started to put the floorboards in and he's nearly finished and they're looking so much better than that carpet. I didn't film pulling the carpet up but it felt so good for it to be gone. As you can see, we're so close to having the floors in and they just feel amazing, especially like coming into summer. So I'm so happy with the color of the floor. We didn't know what color we were gonna go with. And sometimes when you go to Bunnings and places like that and find the flooring that you want, sometimes it's a different sort of color when it gets into certain lights. But um, in this room, it looks really good. And yeah, we're really happy with the progress so far. This is a few days later now and the floors have been completely done. All the paint's been finished. He's put the architraves around the wardrobe. He's also built the flat packs in the cupboard and he's pretty much um, uh, finished the cupboard all together in there, except we do need to put doors on, which will be done later on. I'm really loving the color of these floors. This color is taper ash. And it's come out so much lighter because our room has got so much natural lighting. We've got a big window and we've also got sliding doors in here as well. So it's a lot lighter than what it looked like when we were going to buy them from Bunnings. This is the main window that is behind our bed usually. And he's done all the architraves around the window there. The color of the architraves and the skirting boards and the doors are Arctic crossing. And the color of the walls are star white. Both of these paint colors are by British Paints. So um, it has come out a little bit of a gray tinge, the Arctic Crossing, but it's really nice. It just sort of blends in and it just goes well with the room, I find. I have got one armchair in here at the moment because it's just so peaceful sitting in here with nothing and just looking outside. So yeah, we're really happy with how it's come about. I'm happy with the way the wardrobe is and I know that 
this is going to make my life so much easier when it comes to just putting clothes like washing away and things like that in there and the drawers are actually big enough for my clothes and my husband's so that's all I need I put all the other seasonal clothes away during the year anyway and there's plenty of room in here all I have to do is make sure I don't clutter it and keep buying things that I don't need show you what I'm going to be putting on the bed before I show you what the room looks like so I picked this up from pillow talk this is a habitat and it's um, just got some really nice colors like it just goes with the neutral of the bedroom and I look I bought it and then it came on special later on so they have really good specials at pillow talk I just really like the colors and um, yeah it's sort of got a little bit of a fringe at the bottom of it as well there if you can see that so I just thought you know it was just as plain and simple and neutral as I want it to be so yeah this one the cover is going to be um, so the cover is from pillow talk and this is like um, a doona cover like you do put the comforter inside it and the sheets I'll be using if you would have seen um, a few of my Kmart hauls back I bought these these are the Australian grown cotton set 500 thread count um, this is the king. Our bed is a king. So everything um, is just that little bit bigger and a little bit expensive. I don't find it that much difference in price, but it, there is a difference when you're washing king size sheets and blankets and things like that. It does take up a lot of room and a lot of time. So yeah, um, these ones are just going to be sort of perfect with this. It's, it was quite hard because I was trying to pick up the right colours. And I was on two different websites because I wasn't in the store. So I sort of did okay, I think. So, you know, it sort of blends in with the Duna cover. So here is the bedroom here. This is the cover here from Pillow Talk. And this one is just that little table from Amazon. You would have seen in one of my um, best, best items video. I had shown this, but this is really handy as a laptop table or breakfast table or anything like that but this is the doona cover now i have to be honest i haven't washed the doona cover or the sheets at the moment we've had really really bad weather here in queensland so i just put on the bed today because i'm hoping to wash it today because finally as you can see the sun is out so i've just put it on the bed and it is a doona cover but i have to say that i'm really happy with it i haven't put the doona cover in it because i am going to wash it later I guess you can just sort of use it like a coverlet as well. I think that's what they call it. But um, yeah, so I really like the cover. I think it's really nice. I'm really happy with not having to put a doona cover in and it still looks okay. But I will try it with a cover in there. But for summer, I think it's really good just like as a cover. And I will show you the, the sheets that I got. Now the sheets are, they do have a little bit of a pinkish tinge to them. So as you can see here, that's the pillow slip. So as you can see, it has got that like sheen shine to it. It's 500 thread count, but it's not actually the same color as that. So it has got that little bit of a pinkish tinge to it, but might fade over time, but it's still okay. I'm pretty happy with it. And that's the sheets there. But I think it's a really nice cover. I'm really happy with it. That's from Pillow Talk. Sheets are from Kmart. I haven't bought any throw pillows for it because I don't know which ones to get yet and I'm not sure if I want too many throw pillows here because they just end up on the floor. So I'm just going to might just, I'm probably just going to leave it like that for the moment and, um, and just see, you know, if I feel like getting a throw pillow, I probably will. Yeah, so that's the bed area. Over here, I have got these lamps. Now, these are the ones I've shown in my hauls before. I bought another one the other day just to go with the room. I really like them. They're just that cane and the white shade um i managed to get like a low dim sort of light for them so they're not so bright but i just think it's really nice put a bit of um cane in the room with the white and make it just simple they are a big lampshade but i really like the bigness about them they can tumble over a bit so you just have to be careful with them because they are very lightweight but they're really nice got these bedside tables i bought them online a few years ago they're a little bit scratched i would like to probably um, repaint them eventually if I can when I get time so over there is my makeup counter my husband bought me that for Christmas a few years ago and I absolutely love it at first I didn't think I was going to use it as much as I do but I sit here and do my makeup every day it's got great drawers in it I won't show you the drawers because they're packed and messy I will have to do a video on cleaning that one out 
but I'll try and take it over here a bit so you can see the front view of it. Do a zoom in for you. So that's it there. The mirrors move around a lot and you can adjust them accordingly to where you want them. Um, it's really lovely. I really like it. Okay, so that's it there. And the little mirrors, they sort of move around a bit and you can adjust them, you know, while you're doing your makeup or your hair. I really like it and, you know, it just feels like it's something, you know, I just feel complete when I sit at it and I just do my makeup, do my hair and, you know, I've got an area for everything. I do have most of my makeup in the bathroom on this wheel thing my husband got me as well, which I really like. But this has got really long drawers in it. Um, if I can try and find out where he got it from, it was a while back. It might even be about three years ago now. But it's got a little chair with it as well. You know, you just want a little bit of time out to go and do your makeup. And, um, you know, just make yourself a little bit presentable. And that's the perfect little area for me over there. Our bed is a king size bed, so it does take up a lot of room. This is a really big bedroom. Um, I'm not sure the measurements of it. I probably should have checked it with my husband, but it is a huge bedroom. It's a master room that goes into a bathroom. So over here, we've just got, don't mind the doors, they're really dirty at the moment. In there goes into a bathroom. Through that door there, I can walk out onto the back veranda, which is so helpful, especially when I'm getting clothes off the line. I won't show you out there today because it's a bit of a mess. And I do need to clean it all up. But um, yeah, it's just handy if you want to go sit on the veranda, have a nice cup of tea, you know, and have the doors open. It's really good in summer. We have got a TV up on the wall. We bought this one from Big W. It's just the, I think it's Eco brand one. And we have put it on a bracket, which is really good, which we put most of our TVs now on these. So handy so you can swing them around and you can actually fold it. Oh, let's see if I can do it. Well, don't want to damage the paint. <laughs> um, yeah, so you can actually fold it in as well. So that's handy. Yeah, so I've just sort of just got a little chair here. This chair is from Kmart. Um, take the pillow off it. It is from Kmart. It's just like a nice color. I bought this a while back. It wasn't that expensive. I think I paid about $70 for it. Um, I will try and link the products below if I can, if they've still got them in stock. But um, yeah, it's just like a bit of a gray sort of a color there. It's easy to wash. I've given it a few, you know, cleans and things like that because the kids get on there and and have their milk and you know watch tv and things but yeah so i just wanted to sort of make that area just somewhere where you know you can sit and watch tv now that's the other lamp i've got there and here is the little plant that i got i will link this one below i just wanted something in the room just to um you know bring a little bit of green out but not as if i needed it because outside my window which i'll show you in a minute is full of palm trees got the little plant there and which I got from Kmart and I also got these tables from Kmart that are way back I bought these tables two different sizes and this one we don't really use that much but it's perfect for a little plant in the corner so a lot of these things I have bought from Kmart in the past or recently Kmart's got some great things for decor products and all that sort of thing for your house now and at a, at a great price as well even the blind here is from Kmart and it just goes really well with the chair and the colors um it is a sliding door so i don't want blinds and things like that just a little light curtain which is really easy for me just to pull across because there is a sliding door there i've had really big blinds there before and it's just way too heavy and way too hot for the heat okay so these blinds as you can see and that is my outside area and i've got just palm fronds palm sorry everywhere we have plenty and plenty of palms um, if you want, I guess if I want a greenery in the room, I can just look out here. But yeah, we've got lots of palms and I can't even explain how many. We've got huge palm trees, some of the biggest in the street. Um, but I really, really love them. I just love them. I love the shelter that they give. My husband doesn't like taking the fronds to the tip, but, um, I do have a really nice little area out there. We used to, when we first moved in, it used to, used to have those like, um, succulents and all that sort of thing. And we want to have it a lot clearer because there is snakes because we're, we're sort of living on a back um, reserve sort of area, but there is a lot of snakes that get around. So we sort of wanted to have all this sort of cleaned up, but it makes it really nice out there. I really like it. Um, okay, so talking about getting back onto the um, room. So these blinds, we managed to pick up these from, sorry, it's a bit dark now. I picked up these from Bunnings. Now I really love those plantation blinds, but they're just too expensive. So this was the next best thing for us. They are plastic. And they weren't that cheap either, but I just wanted something that, 
um, you know, I just wanted something white and that I could see through. I usually don't like Venetians because they rattle all night, but these are so heavy. They are really weighted, really, really weighted, and it doesn't blow in the wind because the bottom is just, is solid, so it hardly moves. I've had them, like, I've had them open with the wind around here lately since we've been having big storms, and they've just been perfect. So I'm really happy with the blinds to the point where I'm probably going to get some more for the um, the lounge room because they're just perfect. They're just perfect for the house. We did get an electrician out to get things done around the house. So we, it was really good because it's been a long time waiting to, um, you know, get all these sort of things done. But this is our new fan here. We are going to get two more because our house doesn't have any fans. It used to have a really old bamboo one. I will show you a clip of it if I can find it, but it was so old and it just stopped working. So this one we got and it's got the light in it as well. It's really nice. It's quiet at night time and it's just um, nice and peaceful and just perfect. So yeah, we got that put in and we just, we really needed it. We do put a little portable air conditioner in here in summer, but um, we're just gonna see if we really need it, if we've got a good fan now. So the floors, I'll try and find the color of the floors, but these are the floors that my husband's done himself. We had carpet in here, but it was just, you know, it'd been previously rented this house for years and years. But these are the floors we've got. Our house has got a lot of different flooring, but um, it, they're really nice and cool in summer. I just feel so much cleaner with floors than carpet, especially in this humidity. It's just too hot and I've got children and dogs and it's just easier. If the kids spill some milk, I can just wipe it up. Um, I just feel it's less stressful. The blanket I've got here, I picked up from the Reject shop. It's been really good quality. It's a Peter, it's a Peter Morrissey blanket, all cotton. And also the pillow is from Target. I bought that a couple of years ago as well. But yeah, it's been a really good blanket and you never know what you find at Reject shop, but it's a really nice little blanket. So I'm going to show you now in the cupboards. Um, we've painted it white. I have to find the color of the paint. But the actual um, the trimming around the bedroom, like all the floor trimming, like the skirting boards and the cupboards, we've done that in a in a different color, like more of a neutral color, just so it stands out a little bit. We did put handles on here, but we weren't happy with them, so I wanted to like the gold knobs instead so my husband has to touch all that up again as you can see um as you can see here um yeah we put the handles on but we just didn't want them so we've taken them off so we have to just um patch that up and repaint those bits okay so this is the design of the cupboard we've got more clothes somewhere else i have to put in there but this is what i've got on one side here my husband's side is the same this used to have a lot of room in it but too much room where I just used to throw things up there. Um, the top part here, we've just put, he's put a shelf up there. We've designed it so we've just got like a little bit of a shelf so we can put boxes and things like that up there. There's not a great deal of room, but there's enough. And he put two hanging room areas for my clothes so I can put shorts up the top and dresses and longer things down the bottom here. And just put the shoes underneath. I don't have a great deal of shoes. I sort of am a person who wears a pair of shoes, wears them out, and then I'll buy another set. But I have got a few um, I do have to find. I've put away when I put them away for winter. I find I can find things a lot easier. I picked up these um, these hangers from Aldi. And I just like the colour of them. But, um, yeah, so I can just put my shorts here and all the dresses down here as well. Before it was really designed badly. And this here, I was sort of had a cupboard that went to here and I couldn't hang much on it. So I'll show you the rest of it. So this is the other part of the cupboard here. We've just bought these from Bunnings, um, these two sets of drawers, and we've just sort of got like little shelves in there as well, which is really, really handy for, you know, putting like boxes or you can put baskets like I have there for hats or bags or anything like that. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do in there yet, but you know, it's just good having that sort of storage area. And um, my husband's things are over there. So, you know, it's the same sort of design on one side as it is the other. He's got the two hanging racks as well, like me. He doesn't have really long things like I do, but I've got like longer dresses and things like that. So, yeah, so he's got the um, shelves up on the brackets there, like you see there. And yeah, I just find this works so much easier for me. Um, I don't have as many clothes. I have thrown out a lot of clothes as well. I'll just show you in one of the drawers here. As you can see, it sort of just slides, just a sliding drawer. 
sort of slides in and out so it really makes it easier. Um, before I just had like a big chest of drawers and I couldn't find anything in it. But yeah, this is just, this just works for us. It's not huge, it's not glamorous or anything like that. I just want to be more selective with the clothes and things that I buy now and not buy so many things. And this way I can just see what's in there and not, um, and not overbuy. But I do need to give it a good um, clean out. I've sort of just rammed all my clothes in there at the moment, so I will sort all that out. But that's today's bedroom renovation video. I really do hope you've enjoyed today's video and it's given you some ideas on maybe some of the products I've picked up, maybe from Pillow Talk or Kmart, especially Kmart. Everyone loves Kmart. But yeah, I'm really happy with how it's turned out. It's pretty simple. I'm sure I will purchase some more things along the way. I am thinking of doing a shelf along the top over there, but I'm just thinking about it. I just sort of want to keep it as simple as possible and not clutter the bedroom because it is a very big space so i'm just sort of happy with what it's or what i've already got in here plus i've got the big makeup counter in the corner there but the one thing i was going to pick up was a big mirror which is probably going to go on the wall over there um or maybe not on the wall maybe against the wall but i am looking at a really really big mirror if anyone's got any ideas pop a comment below and let me know because i am on the lookout for a really good mirror but other than that, that's our bedroom renovation video today. I hope you've enjoyed it and thank you once again for coming. Please subscribe if you like my content because I do bring out videos at least two a week. Um, and it's sometimes it's organisational, sometimes it's grocery hauls. Coming up to Christmas, there's going to be a lot of Christmas um, things coming out, cooking, a lot of cooking videos. And yeah, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and I'll see you soon for the next one. Thanks everyone for coming. Bye. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one